Hi friends, I'm Manzur Siddiqui, SQL Server DBA. Today we are going to discuss about Restore Database with SQL Server Management Studio and TSQL. In previous article we have seen database backups and types. So in continuation to that we are going to discuss about how to restore database on other instance. So we have already taken full backup and transaction log backup of inventory database in last session. So I uh, will restore the same database. So let's go to SQL Server Management Studio. This is our inventory database. Uh, full backup and transaction log backup we have already taken and we are going to restore it on this instance SQL2. I'll just refresh database node. Right now I don't have any uh, inventory database here. So we are going to restore that database so right click on database click on restore database now you have source database you can uh, select our device because our file is on uh, disk so I'll select device then click on this to browse the file add button go to backup path where your file is uh, available select full backup then click on OK. Now you have we have selected select backup device. Okay, click on OK. Now you can see uh, in a restore plan uh, your database type full uh, server name, database name, and your LSN details, start date, finish date, and your username. All details are available now you can click on files page and you can see logical file name and uh, of uh, logical file name of uh, master data file and your log file is available your original file uh, name this is path and restore is so we are going to restore on different path just click on this to browse we are going to restore on restore db in c drive i'll give master data file a name inventory dot mdf click on ok now path has changed to uh, c colon restore db inventory dot mdf now select for log file also restore db i'll give uh, a log file name inventory underscore log dot ldf click on ok path has changed now go to options now you have restore options overwrite uh, the existing database with replace preserve the replication setting with keep replication restrict access to the restored database with restricted user so recovery state we have to select restore with no recovery because we have transaction log to restore now this preserve uh, the replication setting is disabled now in restore with uh, no recovery uh, you can read the message leave the database non-operational and do not roll back uncommitted transaction additional transaction logs can be restored now uh, if you want prompt and then you can check it prompt before restoring each backup okay so in general page we have selected our backup file in files we have changed restore as path in option we have selected restore with no recovery click on ok now now once process is completed you'll get massive database inventory restored successfully click on ok now you can see you can refresh this node database node you can see inventory is in restoring state now you have to restore transaction log now click on this inventory restoring right click on it go to tasks restore click on transaction log select from file or tape browse click on add, add button go to your backup path select transaction log backup and ok then you have selected your uh, file and ok so restore to uh, by default point in time is selected 
go to options in option restore options are available you have a preserved replication setting with keep replication prompt before restoring each backup restrict access to the restored database with restricted user so I'm not going to check anything right now here now in recovery state uh, we have three options restore with recovery restore with no recovery restore with standby as this is my last file so I'll uh, I want database functional and online so I will select restore with a recovery so this option is leave the database ready to use by rolling back uncommitted transactions additional transaction logs cannot be restored click on ok as you can see database inventory restored successfully click ok now this restoring state has gone and your database is available so if you want to check details you can right click on it go to facets you'll see some uh, properties facet properties here you can see user access is multiple and you can uh, refer recovery model is full so you have other details also which you can refer your primary file path is C drive restore DB so you can refer uh, this facet properties if you want okay and then click OK now we have uh, restored with the uh, SQL Server Management Studio now we'll restore the database with uh, TSQL so I'll just drop this database so that we can restore with TSQL now I have already written this query here as you can see first first of all uh, by, uh, to restore database with uh, TSQL I'll check uh, logical name of database restore file list only from disk and your backup file uh, path execute it and you can see logical name inventory for uh, data file and log file so then you can write a query to restore a database with no recovery okay and as you can see uh, a restore database your database name from disk equals to your uh, full backup path then uh, you can write move inventory uh, your database name to new location I have uh, given this location because I want to restore database on this path then your log file name move your log file name from default path to this path because I want my log file on this path no recovery select it and execute Now, as you can see, yeah, 100% processed, and your restored database successfully processed, and other details are available about pages. Okay, and I'll just uh, go to database node and uh, refresh it. You can see inventory database is in restoring state. Now we'll uh, restore transaction log so that it is functional with recovery restore log database name from di disk equals to your transaction log path with file equals to you can give file number again okay, select it and execute it now you can see 100 percent processed restored logs successfully processed 13 pages go to database node right click on it and refresh now in entry database is available now check database status you can select a start from sys.database when name equals to inventory you can give uh, you can give details when name equals to your database name select it and execute it you can see database name and it's multi-user right now online with recovery model full so now uh, this is quite easy uh, by 
query also so we have completed uh, database restore with the uh, SSMS and TSQL if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel or visit to my website sqlserverlog.com uh, this article restore database with SSMS and TSQL is already available you can refer it and you can go through all the steps so this is nice article you can refer this article and if you have any query you can send to me you can send me a reply and you can also subscribe to newsletter thank you